Welcome in this session, we will learn how to generate lots of time series uh, data uh, for the demo purpose. And this demo can be on the uh, PG department that we have already performed. But if you need to perform different kind of assignment, let's make sure that uh, you perform this demo ahead of performing PG department demo. So let's, let's go ahead. So what we are going to do is we are going to launch an uh, EC2 instance. So I'm in uh, the... Uh, AWS EC2 console and uh, just say launch instance. We are going to launch an EC2 instance. So I will say this is uh, generate data and that's for demo purpose. We are going to choose Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu 20.04 and I'm selecting the key which I have created earlier. And I want it to connect from my IP. And just make sure that you choose Ubuntu 20.04 because the demo is made for that only. This will take at least 45 seconds or so to complete its launch. In the meantime, uh, we will head over to the MOVA Xtrom, which is a GUI tool to connect with your uh, EC2 instance. Here you are going to uh, paste your uh, public IP. This is your public IP. This is the way you connect with the EC2 instance. So this is your public IP. Mention the super username, which is Ubuntu in case of Ubuntu operating system. And uh, just switch over to EC2 keys, which you have uh, created. So these are the private key. Just clear the screen. And now we are going to follow the step by step. So we are going to uh, create and uh, we will name this as time series uh, DB. It is just the host name we are going to put. Then we are going to get uh, the details uh, for our repository. And then we are going to install it using uh, wget. Let's get it. We have got it, uh, the details. And finally, sudo apt update, update. And then we are just going to install the Postgre 14. And that's it. This is done. Let's install Postgre 14. This will be also done very soon. And just restart the instance just to make sure that it's coming up after uh, installation. In case you are willing to access your Postgre database, which you are going to install now, it is uh, getting ready. Using the PG admin, make sure that uh, you replace uh, localhost with the IP address of the uh, system or uh, replace it with the star. So in our case, what we are going to do is we are just going to use SAD command and we are just going to replace uh, the local host which was over here uh, with the star. And uh, this requires a restart. Just restart your service of the Postgre. This is done. And now we are going to create lots and lots of um, the time series data. Okay, the first thing which we are going to do, we are going to generate 1 million uh, numbers, 1 uh, till uh, uh, 1 million. So let's switch over as you pseudo. So I'll just say exit, pseudo as you space minus postgre. I should put it over here. Just put it over here, just say PSQL. And now we are good to go. Using the generate series, you can generate uh, the uh, number in the required format. So what I'm saying is generate from one to one million. This will not be printed on the screen and because of the huge number, it will not uh, be 
uh, it, it takes time so I'll just quit out of this and what we are going to do is we are going to create a table oh sorry this is 10 millions so we are going to create a table with the name 10 million rows and using the generate series we are going to insert the number between 1 to, uh, to uh, 10 millions so I hope I have put the correct number of uh, zeros so the table table is getting ready then we will count the number of the rows and then we are just going to uh, get rid of this otherwise let's uh, select the data as well so we will let's we will use this to either you would do the count star or just select few rows okay so what we are going to do once it is created we will just count the number of rows that's been created this is uh, 10 millions and then if you just wanted to display how it looks like the value inside your table so it will look like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this is going to be 10 10 millions and then since it is an ec2 instance with very low capacity let's drop the table because we have many more demos which are coming after this let's say i wanted to display the number between 0 to 10 billions which are 10 million which are at the interval of 2 that means even number we are trying to generate so let's use the same thing we are just saying start from 0 after every uh, gap of 2 number just display it till 10 millions and we are just going to create a list of the number uh, even numbers from 2 to uh, 10 million with a gap of 2 that means even number we are going to create and put it in a table once it is done we will just count it and after counting we will just display how it looks like the way we have done earlier the same way we will do it over here as well you can see uh, we have just uh, around 5 million one number and I will just display uh, some of the values over here uh, just to make sure that how it looks like the table name is like this we do not print anything on the screen we are just picking the value from the uh, table which we have created you can see that it is 0 2 4 6 8 10 these are the even numbers let's drop the table so we can free up the resources this is done let's create an hourly data for one year so we are just saying select star from generate series so this should be 24 okay let me this is a duplicate entry let me remove it from here we are trying to print it on a screen just few rows will be printed not everything now you have to keep entering uh, hitting the enter so we don't want to do that we are going to store the data inside a table and we are just going to to say that the table name is test hourly year and we are saying select the star from generate series from 1st of Jan 20, 22, uh, 23 to 24 so that's in future data we are uh, just going to display I mean you can put the um, the dates as your requirement but um, I, I just wanted to go with this you can see that in one year uh, this is 8761 rows are generated in this table if you just wanted to display it from here there are few rows will be generated 
you can see over here you have the date uh, at uh, 1st January 2023 at 00 hours then 1 hour 2 hours so this way it is going to go so we have stored that in our table and just drop the table because we don't need it as of now you cannot store so many because it's uh, just very small instance let's generate the data for one month after interval of an hour we are printing it on a screen let's create a table and then insert the data inside there so that you can view it is 745 records are generated just do a select star just to see how it looks like the way it was looking for uh, the year it is the same way it is visible because the column names and others are same just drop the table because we don't want any more it and it's it's diff okay now we wanted to uh, dis uh, create two columns one with some text like e multi skills for postgresql as the name and then we are going to generate the um, numbers from 1 to 1 million let's see how we can do it you can create as many columns as you want with some default value you can see that uh, it's this is one column with the name and another is the series let's come out of this and insert this uh, displayed data so we are saying create a table with two columns with the this should be one million rows i believe so and let's create the table and this table data you can use in other assignments wherein you are going to partition the uh, table according to your requirement so this is going to help so there are different scenarios just make sure that you properly use it let's see how it looks like if you just wanted to see the first 10 rows this is the first column value this is the second column value let's take some more realistic data we just wanted to uh, put some random value for 1 million entries for cpu usage on some system where it is happening very frequently you can see that cpu usage and uh, there is an number assigned against this so this looks real let's insert the data inside some table so that you can play around with it so this is created let's display the data and then we will get rid of this you can see this is generated series and these are the cpu usage let's drop this table let's drop and i think uh, this is going to be the last one wherein we are going to create two uh, columns one with the, the number 1 to 100 and another with the 1 to uh, 20 that means total 2000 records will be displayed on the screen and then we will insert it inside a table you can see the first column will go from 1 to 100 and then the column b will be from 1 till 100 let's create the table and insert the data inside this is done let's select the table how it looks like and finally drop the table table has been dropped now we are going to generate some more data we are just going to say uh, cpu usage uh, we are using the random uh, function and we are going to uh, display the value for one month after an hour 
and there are four uh, servers or host IDs their value is from under 210 let's see how it looks like on the screen it looks somewhat more realistic data this is the host ID this is the time this is the CPU used and just this all belongs to this time series uh, database let's put all this detail in a table that can be used for later purpose so this is 7667 rows are inserted just see how the data looks like for the 10 rows uh, you have the time then you have the host id then you have the cpu used you can perform a lot of functions on that let's drop the table and then we will try one more and and that that's let's generate the data for two months and this time there are 10 hosts from uh, number 1 to 10 you can see first it will display for host id 1 then 2 then 3 and then 4 and then till uh, 10 for 60 days so let's insert all this data there are 14650 rows are inserted just see how the data looks like you can see over here and then drop the table then we will do it for the six months let's do it for six months for host id between one 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 two till four there are seventeen thousand six hundred and uh, 68 entries are displayed let's see how it looks like for this is the way it looks like you can change the value of generate series and you can get the details according to your requirement so lots and lots of data will be uh, uh, recorded in a table and you can use it accordingly make sure that all this data you will be using in pg partman or pg underscore partman which is a partition manager then you will have the table and then you are going to partition it according to the requirement i hope this is going to help and thank you